Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to williehow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What I'm going to talk to you about right now is the firmware for the Synology UC3200, which is their IP SAN. And this is really important if you are running... Um, uh, your UC3200 with VMware. So we ran into a particular case where we're running ESX i7 with the UC3200s and everything, we thought everything was fine. We uh, updated some VLANs on a switch. We didn't remove, mess with any of the things, but just something about the switch saving uh, the configuration led us to start having the problem that is um, talked about here in this release note from uh, September 7th, 2021. And you can see right here, uh, it was uh, September 7th, 2021. Uh, they fixed the uh, OpenSSL vulnerability. They should have done that across the board, but they fixed an issue where iSCSI services may be disconnected when the iSCSI connection was set on a link aggregation interface with an MTU value of 9,000. So we had that. And then fix an issue where the data stores on the LUNs are map, uh, that are mapped to the targets may not be mounted properly after uh, user reconnected iSCSI targets from VMware ESXi hosts. So what we don't know is if, because we didn't change the iSCSI VLAN, we don't know if like the, the flip, the switch, like for some reason uh, flap the ports or whatever. But what happened was uh, it took a little bit of time but then uh, the ESX host began to not be able to control the VMs that were on the UC3200. So we did several reboots, uh, shut down, rebooted the UC3200. And then I was like, you know, I think there's a firmware update that might be available. Checked it out. We've got, we're matching some of these conditions. So we updated the firmware and it updates, you know, both controllers. Um, we've rebooted and everything has now been stable and actually super fast. And I think if you scroll through these notes, there's some other things um, uh, about, you know, where they fixed IO problems or they also fix things specific to VMware ESXi hosts. So make sure that you, uh, if you're running ESXi and you should be running probably uh, 6.0, five or seven, I'd have to look, you'd have to go look to see what's supported. Maybe six is still supported, but definitely if you're on seven, which is where we ran into this condition, make sure uh, that if you're using jumbo frames and you've got some of these things where you could, these problems could crop up, that your firmware is up to date. Get you a maintenance window. Don't let it plague you in production. That, that did happen. And uh, it always gets a little tense. When that happens, but we were able to find that yes, the firmware was likely causing the issues. Firmware upgraded and everything has been stable. So if you're running a UC3200 and a VMware, make sure you're checking the release notes and that your firmware is upgraded. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a Patreon or using any of our affiliate links, uh, don't feel pressure to do that, but those links are down below and are labeled as affiliate links. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.